Hi, I'm Dami from eLearning Channel Museum. This time, we're going to play an action musical lines. We will start with one lines first. Also, we will learn about the concept of reading notes like a graph rather than a look. So far, we have checked how musical notation has changed. There were no lines at the beginning, but as they needed, people added a line to recognize the different note. And it become five lines now. These five lines we call staff or staves. Lines drawn to help understand the different note. Let's talk about time signature. At the beginning of a score, there are two numbers. These numbers are called time signature. And they indicate how many beats are in a measure. These are the basic time signatures. 4, 4, 3, 4, 2, 4. Let's find out what are the differences. As you see here, the bottom numbers are the same. The difference is the top numbers. The top number represents how many beats are in a measure. For example, the number 2 means there are 2 beats in a measure. 1, 2, Bar line, half note is two count. So one, two, it takes whole two count. And bar line, one eighth note is half count. So two eighth note is one count. One, two. It can be any combinations of notes that add up to two, like a two quarter note, one half note, or four eighth note. As you can see, they all add up to two beats. Tom number three means there are three beats in a measure. Three quarter notes is a three count or one dotted half note can take whole entire measure as a three count or combinations of one half note and one quarter note. Two plus one is a three count. Likewise, the number four on top means there are four beats in a measure. One, two, three, four. What about five? Yes, five beats in a measure. One, two, three, four. Uh-huh. There is something missing. We only have a four counts here. What is missing? one quarter note because one count is missing. The total bits in a measure so are always equal to the time number of the time signature. So if time signature is five, all the measure is supposed to be five bits. The time signature is four, the time number is four, then all the bits are supposed to be four count. Three means three count every measure. Two means to count every measure. This time, moving on to the bottom number. The bottom number in a time signature tells you which note value gets one count. For example, if the number is four, then a quarter note gets one count. Since bottom number four means one fourth, one fourth is quarter. So quarter note gets one count. What about if the bottom number is 2? Then it means 1, 2, half. So half note is 1 count. The same way, if the bottom number is 8, it means 1 eighth. Eighth note is 1 count. Therefore, when you look at the time signature, check the bottom number first. Bottom 4 means quarter note is 1 count. And top number tells you you have four quarter notes in a measure, means four beats. If the time signature is 2-2, two, two, bottom 2 tells you that half note is one count. And top 2 means you have two half notes. So it's going to be, since half note is one count, there is a two beats. 
same way. The bottom number 8 means 8th note is 1 count. And you have 6 8th notes. This time, we're going to learn how to read a note on a line. If a note is on a line, we call line note. If note is between the line, we call space note, since the note is on the space. If any two notes are on the same line or on the same space, then we call repeated note. If you see in the music like this on the same line or on the same space, that means you play it again, the same note. Now, step up. In music, one note is on line and the other note is on space. That means step up. It has to be line after or space to next line. That's a step up. So if you play on the piano, if this note, it really doesn't matter which note it is. If that note is C, the next note would be D. If this note is E, the next note would be F, just right next to each other. Since it's going up, you just read next note. Step down, the same way, going down. If one note is on the line and the other note is on the space, since this one moves down, that's what we call step down. Same. If one note is a space and the other note is on the line and looks like going down, that means a step down. So if this note is D, that means the other note is C, since it's a step down. If this note is F, then this note would be E, because this is a stepping down. Skip. Skip means a note moving from line to next line, or a note moving from space to next space. So they're moving to the same line to line or space to space. Let's assume if this note is on E, then what if the next note? F, G, you're skipping it. If you count note name, it's confusing. But when you play on the piano, it's much easier because you're skipping the keys. So if this note is E, then you go to the next skip and G. If this note is D, you skip and go to the next F. As you see, the same way. Skip down as you go down. If this note is E, then you skip one and then go to the next one, C. If this note is A, you go to F. This time, you're going to play two short songs using one line. Before we play an actual piano, we will just go over the songs with eyes first. Practice one. Let's assume this line is E. Then whichever on this line is E. So E, 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 every note on the line is E. What about the next one? Step up to space. So step up, F, stepping down to E again. Up to F, down to E. Now this time going down. So it's going to be D, coming back to E. Going down to D, going back to E again, and E. So you need to look at it as a graph. Repeat, 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 same note, going up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Sometimes if there is a lot of down and up and you don't know which note is you are, then you can figure it out. This line is E. Then what it is, where you are. So if this line is E, then this is going to be next note, F. That's how you can find. Practice two. The same as practice one, this line is E. 
but the startling note is not on E. Where? It's one step lower than E. Then how are you going to find? One step lower than E. D. So this first note is D. And space to space, so we're skipping up. D, F, D, F. Repeated notes, since it's the same space. So same F, skip down, D, skip up to F, skip down, skip up, step down, step down, step up, repeat it a note, and step down. That's how you read. We have just learned how musical notation system has changed. First, the musical notation system started with pitch going up and down only. And as it goes, they added a line and read as graph. So it's really important you read music as graph rather than note names. If you try to memorize all the note names, we have 88 keys. How are you going to memorize it? Or how are you going to play many notes at the same time? That's very confusing. So you would better read as a graph rather than a look. Thank you for watching this video. And next video, we're going to learn how to play a song with one lines.